don't leave me home alone or else The next day Welcome back to my channel. Hello. I'm just, I am in awe and speechless actually of what happened today. And today I wasn't supposed to film a video. It wasn't in the plans at all. But you know, somebody else had another plans for me and I am all down for it. You know, whenever some opportunity comes to your life, you most of the time or even always should say yes. This is what I'm thinking right now. This is the plan right now. And whenever people reach out to me and ask, should we do it? I always say yes. <laughs> so today is actually one of those days when, you know, I thought it will be a simple casual day. I'll be working and on my lunch break, I'll start painting some pots and then, you know, throughout the day we'll work on that and that's about it. But while walking my dog Rocky this morning, I noticed something really green next to the garbage containers and I thought, okay, here we go. Here we come with another houseplant rescue video on my channel. And, and here we are, not lying, not kidding. I have a plant over here that I just rescued from the garbage containers. I mean, it wasn't in the garbage containers, you know, it was just next to it. So as per usual, the story of this houseplant rescue, somebody just got tired of it, or as I can see in the middle of this ficus, I rescued ficus elastica, I'll show it in a second. So I can see on the bottom that it's kind of broken and kind of just cut off. So I'm not even sure if it was on purpose or not. But in either way, it's a huge, huge ficus elastica that I'm so excited to experiment on and take you along and we'll see how, where it will take us. Because actually, this is my second ficus elastica rescue. Uh, I rescued another one, variegated one about, I can show it over here. Sorry, sun just came out and it's pretty bright. <laughs> So I rescued another one last autumn, so about half a year ago, and my mom found it and we rescued it and it's it's fabulous. Actually, during the last couple weeks, it already gave me two new leaves and it feels like spring here. So I'm excited to have another one, but without further ado, let me show you. Okay, no, no, let's have this little tingly tingly excitement over here. And first off, let's start with another rescue that I found in the very same spot. You already saw it. I found a beautiful, huge pot that is so vintage and actually artsy. I'm very excited. So I have it over here still in the back <laughs> because I don't know where it was, you know. But the story is that I don't often rescue houseplant pots, you know, because somebody just throws them away next to the garbage containers, not directly into the garbage containers. But people here in Lithuania tend to just, you know, 
give stuff to other people without any payment just leave it next to the garbage containers and you know that it's free to take you know this is how it works here in Lithuania and Vilnius and I was just walking my dog and noticed this ficus elastica but also next to it was a beautiful vintage terracotta pot and i just couldn't resist actually i was more excited about the pot than about the plant which is insane <laughs> but this this plant itself is really spectacular but this pot is also something special so let me show you this is what we're working with this is a huge huge vintage pot actually somebody previous owner even tried to diy it a little bit and added beautiful de flowers i'm not sure how you call it in english but in lithuania it's called decoupages when you add something you know with glue like so i think it looks kind of cool and adds a little shebang to the spot and also you know since it's so old you can see it was used obviously right it has a drainage hole which is awesome i love that it has some colors on it because never seen an old vintage pot with some colors on it which is also very cool i love this pattern and you know just the vibe of the pot itself it looks like a, an old ancient vase for me and just the fact that somebody loved it for so long and they wide it just adds a little spirit for it in my opinion so this beautiful pot is really special i'm really excited about it i'm actually thinking to maybe keep it for the spikers when i will root it i will pot it over here so you know it's just like meant to be and just a whole beautiful plant and pot combo to own and just look back to and remember this day so really excited this pot what do we think i think this is fabulous this is such a fabulous find yes it has a little bit breakage over here on top right even though it's a little bit broken who aren't all of us are a little bit broken right <laughs> so beautiful beautiful pot beautiful pottery piece with uh, definitely some spirit to it and i'm really excited about this one but right now let's get to the plant sorry about that <laughs> Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> Are you flipping kidding me? I cannot believe this is happening. This is a huge ficus. Fun story. Last summer in our local shopping malls. Oh my gosh, the sun is just last summer we had some kind of a kick of ficus elasticus and ficus liratus actually in our local grocery stores and it was sold for 10 euros and it was about that size plant which is not small it's about one meter tall plant right and there was such only look for it people were crazy about them because it was such a cheap price for such a big plant and you know it's a statement plant because it's so big and i was so excited i was going throughout like at least 10 grocery stores and i couldn't find it i never could find it because they were always sold out everywhere and i was so sad that i couldn't because i really wanted a tall ficus elastic because it definitely looks like a statement you know it's so green so beautiful love, the, love those beautiful big glossy leaves and i was really sad about it and then in autumn i rescued this variegated ficus elastica which is huge is it's as tall as i am and right now half a year later i find another one and completely different one non-variegated green version i'm like wow okay sometimes you really need to want something so so bad to receive it in like twice amount so <laughs> a little you know little inspirational speech for you to never give up on your dreams because you never know when around the corner something will be waiting for you so here we go here we go with another awesome houseplant rescue i'm just i'm just oh my gosh i'm just enough so today we'll have a little experiment with it i just do not want to keep it as it is first off it doesn't have any roots here is how it looks like so it definitely looks cut right and also a little bit broken so you know this is definitely a clean cut right but this portion looks sad so what i want to do i actually want to cut it in three pieces hear me out hear me out please don't freak out i want to cut it in three pieces and see how it goes because i actually can see some growing points in some of the places for example this it oh my gosh please focus not on my hand oh no here we go ah Oh gosh, here we go, here we go, right? So we have here growing points. We also have a bunch of growing points. Where, where, wait. In this spot, where is this branch? 
bam shabam right so i thought okay since we have some growing happening over here let's just give it a go i actually already as you can tell the leaves are wet i just give it a nice power wash within my shower so you know just to make sure to take out all of the dust from somebody's house but also to check on the pests and all of that and it looks actually fabulous not a single pest so i'm so happy so lucky and today we'll cut it in pieces so <laughs> this sounds so savage right but you know what sometimes you need to experiment to have a growth for your own you know experience and not only for the plants and plus it's pretty big so it's gonna be a struggle to put it somewhere and i think it will be so much more fun to have it as a bush like a three piece plant instead of just you know one branch like so because i already have one variegated like this so i mean i could combine them and have like a nice combo this is gonna be difficult okay let, let me think about it decision have been made i'm gonna cut it i'm gonna cut it oh my gosh still not sure about it <laughs> but we gotta cut it yes otherwise when agnes will come back from his work spoiler oh my gosh yes agnes found a job but anyway when he will come back from work he will be in quite a shock to be honest <laughs> don't leave me home alone or else not my fault not my fault this is just destiny you know Anyway, can you tell I'm really excited, I'm really happy about it, and... Oh, okay. <clears throat> yep, so, okay, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do it? Do we? Uh, are we? Okay, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yes, we are. So, I have this huge-ass glass vase from my mom i mean it's kind of special it's been in the family for three generations right now <laughs> what i use it for definitely not cut off flowers but cut off ficuses hello baby can you see the air oh hello hello i have I actually don't have a, a paper towel so i have some toilet paper to collect the sap because for those who are new to the ficuses when you are when you will cut them they'll have this yellow milky looking sap that is actually pretty toxic so since i have a dog i need to be careful with that okay and it's time to check on where i want to cut it for those who are a little bit new to the plants actually usually i do not give like you know too much tips be because i do not want to look like a teacher or something you know i'm just a girl who is just experimenting and trying everything on my own you know without too much research just going with the flow but since i have been growing plants for about 10 years right now i think i have some experience like a little teeny tiny bit of experience you know so what i want to do when i want to propagate such a big plant first off i think it will be smart to cut it because we have a very very woody stem here in the bottom and it's so so difficult for such woody stems to propagate because you know since they are already so so uh thick and strong it's very difficult for the roots to come out so what people like to do actually to take out a little bit of this forgot the name in english in lithuanian we call it zheve in russian we call it kara in english no idea i will put it on the screen so you know you can just you know take a little bit of that and it will be so much easier for the roots on this plant to grow and they won't need to dig from you know this tick 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 kara <laughs> so i'm not sure should i do it or not but maybe i will do it on the lowest part because it's the most woody obviously so this is one of the tips right another tip what i want to do i obviously want to cut in between the nodes so if you look from this side into the plant you can see how many nodes there are right i mean this is the node where is growing the leaf and you also can see some growth coming up for example this portion right so what i'm looking for when i want to cut it for example over here let's look right I can see definitely a new grow point is peaking up, right? So I would like to cut over here in between the nodes because I definitely know that something will grow out of this portion and it's a bigger chance for me to receive a new top growing and it will be a little bit easier for the plant itself because it's already worked his way through, you know, to push this growth out and that's what I'm looking for. So I will cut it, obviously probably somewhere around that i also can see 
a new growth coming in here. Can you tell? Here we go, right? So this is where I will take the first cut, I think. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep, this is happening. This is actually a pretty thick stem. I'm a little bit worried, but let's just do it. You see it? Here we go, this is where I'm cutting. Oh. Okay, okay. And here is the white sap I was talking about coming, coming at us, so. Where is my toilet paper? Oh, 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 it's actually pretty fast, so act quick, you know? Bam, and bam. I just wanna put it as like that right now, just to you know, take it out of the floor and everything else because my dog is really close to me. So this is how the first cutting is looking. We have three leaves, doesn't look fabulous to be honest, even though those three leaves are beautiful and large. I will leave this one bottom leaf because it's pretty, you know, up over there, so it won't disturb me too much. So the last thing is left to do, to shave it a little bit, to shave off that kara or sheve or no idea how it's in English. And this should be a real fun experience, experience because I've never ever done something like that. So really curious actually. And right now we have one more cut left to do. I can see some grow points growing over here, right? Okay, I will cut over here, right? I already can see that some branching was going on over here. This is the way the branch was broken off for some reason. I don't know, maybe some, somebody propagated it. But yeah, this is where I wanna cut it. Yeah, yeah, yep. Okay, here we go again. Here we go. Actually, the fun, Fun fact, it, it wasn't that tough as I thought it will be, so that was actually cool. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Act fast, act fast. Oh my gosh, sap, sap, sap. Oh my gosh, okay, it's leaking. It's actually really sticky. So I don't like to, you know, get it on my fingers and all of that, but it's, it's too late. Oh, you see everything perfectly, right? <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. We have two more cuttings. Wait, this is the wrong side. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Give me a second. Here we go, right? So we have two more cuttings. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we have two more cuttings, right? The problem with these two are that we have a lot of leaves on the bottom and they will take a lot of energy from these cuttings because right now, since this plant doesn't have a lot of roots, it needs to sustain himself somehow and keep all of those leaves alive. And you know, this wouldn't be smart to work on. So I want to take off some of the bottom leaves from this cutting so they can go grow roots instead from that part and won't use that much energy. It will be a little bit sad to lose those leaves. I actually have a video series on my channel with experimenting with ficus elastica. I have been growing simple leaves without any stem and just, you know, looking what what will happen, you know? And actually they grew roots and the roots were actually pretty spectacular, to be honest. I was not expecting this leaf to have so many roots but that was about it. Nothing ever grew out of those roots. So if you want to try and play around and maybe have one broken leaf from your fic ficus elastica, you can always have it as a statement piece, you know, as one leaf just rooting in your glass container and just look at beautiful roots and stuff, you know. But in my experience, in about one year of growing it into, into the water, both of my cuttings of leaves never grew anything else. They were just rooting, so. Fun fact, right? But right now, what I wanna do, I wanna cut off three bottom leaves from this, which will be really sad, but you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Okay, so I am preparing some of more, more toilet paper, and let just go one by one, right? Bam. Feels like I'm cutting some kind of cheese or butter. They're so soft. It's actually pretty satisfying. 
Okay, I won't be throwing these leaves away. They're actually really beautiful. Just look at them. And this is what we will be working with. Once again, this is a pretty wood stem, right? But this one, I won't be shaving off. I will leave it as it is because it's a little bit younger. You know, it's not as thick as the bottom part. And the bottom part, I will shave off a little bit. I'll show you in a minute. And we'll see the difference of rooting, you know, how fast they're rooting and all of that. Here is another one in here. Once again, I will cut three bottom leaves off oh guys just look at it. such a beautiful plant i feel a little bit guilty for cutting it but you know if you want to survive you need to do some of you need sacrifices ha huh? right oh my gosh i'm so smart and we are done with this one as well so i don't want to do anything else for this oh i also did not mention that i will just be rooting them in water nothing too special i will dip it a little bit into the rooting hormone but right now i want to let it dry out a little bit because it's still sapping a little bit so in about an hour i will go into the kitchen and you know put it a little bit into the rooting hormone and put them into the water so i'll take you along and we'll see how everything will be you know happening yeah this will take some space <laughs> ooh, ooh. please stay Please stay. Good plant. Gorge. <gasps> Wait here. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous, isn't it? Just imagine like that growing in the pot, already looking so bushy and fluffy and powerful. Oh yes. Looks fabulous in my opinion. Very awesome. <sighs> okay, so right now what is left to do is to wait a little bit for at least an hour. They will callus a little bit, dry out. Then I will do the rest of the business and that will be it for today's experiment. So I will see you in about an hour. All right, guys. So right now the main focus isn't into me. The main focus is into this beautiful ficuses. This is how I am trying to shape this bottom part of this ficus this is the first time i ever am doing this to i mean house plant it's a plant you know i would do this on a simple tree branches with my dad when we would you know be baking sausages for example on fire places or just you know playing around with some branches or i don't know we would do this a lot actually right now as i'm thinking about it but this is the first time i'm doing this for a plant that is sapping so it's actually not very fun experience but i think it's so much worth it so this is how i did it and yeah i i was using very professional knife i know <laughs> anyway so as you can tell they dried out a little bit and it seems legit to start working on the second part of this propagation slash experiment i want to go ahead and dip them into this rooting hormones it's a simple rooting hormone that i found in local big box store do not know too much information about it to be honest i have been using it for about two years right now and it still lasts kind of a lot you know you do not have to do it it's just you know an extra mile to go for a success i really want this cuttings to, to be successful so you know just going a little bit further than you know most people probably would but anyway so i will dip it into this rooting hormone and that's it i will just put it into this beautiful glass vase we'll change water as often as i will remember i'll be honest i am really bad at it but we'll see how that will go and that's about it this is how i will be keeping it somewhere around my home obviously since this plant was in somebody else's home i will be taking a good look onto it you know once in a while just to make sure there are definitely no pests and stuff like that but yeah that's about it for this portion so yeah and here we are here is another awesome house plant rescue i am so excited this was such a fun experience and i cannot wait to show you how everything goes where this road will take us nobody knows but i'm excited to find out hope you are as well so please subscribe if you want to see more houseplant experiments and rescues on my channel because this is what i am the most passionate about about houseplants please also comment what i think about this experiment maybe you wanna give me any tips and tricks who knows maybe you just wanna chat a little bit let's do it in the comments and like if you enjoyed this video and right now let me show let me give you another language lesson.
<coughs> so a lot of you actually in some of my previous videos were asking me to share how to say love. So today I will teach you how to say love in Lithuanian, in Russian and in Polish. If you want to say love in Lithuanian, you need to say Meile. Once again, Meile. And if you want to say love in Russian, you need to say Lubov. Once again, Lubov. Fun fact, my grandma is named Lubov, so in other words, love. <sighs> Beautiful name, right? And if you want to say love in Polish, it actually, it's pretty various. I think I heard people saying Milost, for example, as a you know, noun, right? And if you want to say as a verb, you would say ja, ja kocham, for example, I love, right? Ja kocham. This is what I learned while working in United Kingdom in the factory where there were a lot of Polish people. Anywho, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really enjoyed to hang out with you. I hope you did as well. And it's time for me to go back to work. Yeah. Lunch breaks are definitely over. Trust me, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Until the next time. Bye.